Hey guys, coming with E-Trailer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Moride X-Factor Crossmember for standard hangers. Trailer frames definitely aren't as strong as we'd like them to be. Um, there tends to be quite a bit of bend in them, especially when you make sharp turns. You'll kind of see you'll flex a little bit side to side. Um, so what this is going to do is it's going to strengthen from beam to beam. It's going to give you a little bit extra support. That way when you do make those turns, you're not going to see it start to flex up one way or the other and it's just going to give you overall more stability with your trailer which is also going to help all of your other components so when you have better handling because your trailer frame isn't starting to lift up you're going to have more tires down on the ground it's going to get more surface contact and you're going to get better handling overall with less wear on your front tires for the installation you will have to lift up your trailer you're going to have to let the axles hang and then support them separately so you'll definitely want to use some bottle jacks that way you can kind of move it up and down um, with this specific one, it really isn't too hard because you're only plopping out one hanger bolt. So you don't have to, it's not like you have to set up some giant thing to hold this in place. You're literally just holding it so that when you pop that hanger bolt out, it's not going to fall down on you. Um, as far as placement goes, if you're only getting one cross member, then you'll want to put it in the center of your tandem axle trailer. Um, if you end up getting two of them, you'll want to put one in the center and then one at the rear because that's going to need more help than the front wheel. This one is also going to be a fit for your CRE or SRE Moride equalizers. So typically when you look at the Moride ones, it's going to have it right on the front. It'll say that CRE or SRE. Basically what that means is just because this is sitting above the equalizer and it's going exactly where your wet bolt would go, they would hold your equalizer up. It's going to be compatible with those systems. And it's also going to be compatible with a correct track system as well if you have that on your hangers. I'm going to use a breaker bar on the head of my bolt and hold it in place while I pull the nut off. We want to make sure that we don't have that head of the bolt spinning in there because it has teeth on it and that's going to end up grounding out our hanger. So take it off from our nut side and once we have our nut off we're going to take our hammer and we'll pop this out. You do want to make sure that you have your trailer supported or your axle supported before you go ahead and pop that out though because then you're going to have a loose hanger here and your leaf spring can fall down and won't be able to support its own weight. If you need to, if you can't get it out, you can also go ahead and take a little uh, hole punch or something and just kind of pop that out. If you don't have one of those, go ahead and take a flathead screwdriver. I'm going to first install our black bracket here. It's going to sit on the inside of that hanger just like this and we'll slip our wet bolt through so we'll pull that up push it back through and since this is as a greek uh, grease zerk fitting we are not going to be able to hammer on it directly what i do is i have a uh, socket that i set up on there and uh, it's going to sit around that grease zerk fitting and it'll allow me to tap it in the rest of the way and then the teeth that are on the head of that bolt are bite into our hanger. Once that's fully flush, we'll go ahead and stick on our bracket. And then you're gonna have a round spacer, basically just a washer, but a little bit thicker. We'll slip that on to our wet bolt, and then we're gonna have a flange nut we're gonna stick on as well. We're not gonna go tight with that yet, just because we want this a little bit loose so we can kind of maneuver it and get the other bolts in that we need. So just hand tight, and then you're going to see these long brass bolts. You'll have these spacers that will go over it and kind of protect the bolt from the outside, and then a strap. So what we're going to do is we'll slip that bolt through. We'll have that cover on there, and the strap, and then a nut. that started and switch over to our other side and while we're tightening these down now we're gonna go ahead and just make sure that this stays level um, sometimes it'll kind of want to lean to one way or the other so as you tighten it down keep an eye on that 
I'm gonna tighten these down just a bit. I'm not gonna go fully tight yet. I'm gonna get the hanger bolt in, but just snug that up. Makes it a little bit easier to kind of get it level with the hanger. You can also kind of just feel the bottom. All right, we can tighten down our hanger bolt. And this is just until it's kind of hand tight. It does have a torque setting, but at the same time, you still need this to be able to flow freely back and forth. If you pinch the hanger too much on the leaf spring, it's not gonna be able to fully do its job correctly. You can end up having some issues, be a little bit too stiff and end up damaging your leaf spring. Now that we have this all bolted up, we're gonna go ahead and just repeat the same process over on the other side. So each hanger is going to have a different size. There's gonna be an inner and an outer. Our outer one is gonna have those slots. The inner side is going to have just standard holes. And basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna slip over that and bolt together in those spots. And then on the ends, it's gonna have three spots on each side to bolt into those brackets in our hangers. Now these are specific um, on this side. We do have our smaller bracket, and on the other side we have our larger bracket, so we will need to put our larger one over on that side, and our inner smaller one on this side. The hardware that we're gonna be using to attach our cross member to the bracket is gonna be these black bolts and these silver uh, flange nuts. So we'll go ahead, I grab six of them and six of our flange nuts, and we're just gonna set our cross member up into place. We'll stick some of these bolts in. We'll just hand tighten it for now. You're going to want to leave this loose. That way when we go to connect the two pieces together, it's not going to give us too much trouble. And then we'll just repeat the same process over with the other one, making sure that we put our outer one on top of this bar right here so that they sit together correctly. putting this together we're gonna have four bolts on each side we want to get the two outermost ones on each end so for this put this one up top and then on our left side for our other end our outermost one's gonna be right there here and then we can secure those with more flange nuts and then repeat this over on the other side. Now that I've got all these on here just hand tight, we're gonna go ahead and tighten all of these down with our uh, socket wrench, and then we will go ahead and torque them all to spec. Now that we have all of our bolts torqued down, that will do it for our installation of the Moride X-Factor cross member for standard hangers.